guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in case you don't know me i'm roba c30 thank you so much for those who have been subscribing we have hit 50 subscribers thank you so much and congratulations i know it's not by my power it's by god grace and god's power and you guys you have been so supporting thank you so much in case you are new to my channel just show some love by subscribing like and even share in case you have any question just leave there a comment and it will be of great help to us let us grow together let us keep supporting each other yeah let us focus and i know we are heading somewhere road to 100 take this girl far guys uh, i'll be so happy i'm so humbled thank you so much for being part of me and i know god will bless you and we are going to learn much more about each other thank you so much i'm so happy and i'm so humbled thank you thank you thank you so guys on today's video we are going to talk about uh, deportation guys as you can see now the system of saudi arabia they have changed things are changing day and day so things are changing as you can see the news the videos uh, yeah, i think some of the videos some of the clips have reached you girl guys so the de deportation part has started and i have seen it's three countries now it's kenyans uh, philippines and the pakistans so guys uh, they have started and whenever they get you on the street you are being taken by the police they arrest you but they don't they don't do anything bad they don't beat you they don't take you to the jail no the the airport is full of people going back to their countries and this is happens i think because of much insecurities and there is those who ran away from their bosses not because they wanted but because they, it was too much for them to bear the it was not safe to them yeah some were passing through hard times as you know they were being beaten by their bosses threatened to be killed so it was too much for them to run away it's not by their wish and we are happy for them because they're outside they were struggling too much no place to sit no work to do so they have been at least they have gotten a, a, another new way to get out of this country and others maybe they run they just someone just feel like when she is heading to finish the contract now she wants to she doesn't want to go back at home she wants to continue with the job and you know the outside guys money is too much it's enough money the money is the amount they are being paid is not the same as we are being paid here in the house so they are paid enough money much money so they decided to go there out and continue to hustle but the problem is those people they don't have a karma and they don't have passport so guys in it has forced the police in case they found you in the road where anywhere they will just arrest you then another thing is because others i don't know how they came came here because it's all they have included both men and women uh, i don't know how they came up here and they are, yeah they got passport but they they just came i don't know if maybe they ha they had this disagreement with the with their bosses so they don't have a karma in case they found you with no e karma because that is what makes you to be here to move to buy everything so if you don't have that ikama then you are done in saudi arabia then insecurities when it comes to insecurities such as yeah there is this man pakistan man they use the most most 
of the men pa Pakistans and I think they work with the ladies. Most of them, they are kidnappers. So insecurity has been too much high. They have been doing illegal things here. Then some of our girls, some of other girls from different countries, Nigeria, Philippines, Kenyans, they have, because of these cases of killing each other, they kill each other. When, whenever you they went, they go there outside, they found love, they get in love. So something, it comes, I don't know how it happened because it happened to Nigeria. Another Nigerian girl was killed. Another Nigerian girl was killed and she was, the case was that she was double dealing the men. So the other one came to know that the girl was playing to him. So they fought so bad and they cut each other and in at the end the girl was killed. So that I think that has made the security to become too much tight because we also kill each other. We ourselves we kill each other. So girls that is that is the reason I think why the Saudi Arabia kingdom, the king has decided to release the police to do their own work. So guys, uh, now at least some of our girls are happy. They are going back at home. Yeah, for me, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them, for them to go back to their country. You know, it's good to tarmac on your own country, to cry on your own country, where you know people, the people of the same color, the same race. Yeah, it's good to tarmac there because there, yeah, you will know how to survive rather than to be here. You, you are, you don't have peace. Threatening is too much no food like for some of the girls i have a friend who has been taken to the office she calls she eats once a day no food once a day once you have eaten now if it's breakfast or lunch until the next day and they are too much and you know the spread of covid is too much so guys for me i'm happy because, yeah, I'm happy for that. He let our girls go and rest back at home. Because even some of the office, some of the office, they are not capable of helping our girls here. They just bring them here. And when, whenever they found any problem, they are not capable of helping them. So, guys, that is the situation now. As you can see, the security is too much tight whenever they got them even they do run away for those who doesn't want to go back at home they hide yeah in case you are okay there then no need of going just hide and do your work but in case you find the police that's when you are gone so whenever if your work is outside the house you are staying be careful it's good to work with your phone, work with your own money because you don't know the next minute. You may meet the police and that's when you'll be gone. And you, maybe you don't have phone to communicate with your people. You have left the money in the house. There is no way you'll tell the police that, uh, excuse me, let me run for the money. Nothing like that. So guys, I'll just add you in case you are an Akemboy you are working there outside be careful be watchful work with your money work with your phone so as in case you are gotten in such circumstances then you can at least communicate with someone and good thing is that they don't punish you they don't jail, jail you they just arrest you and you are taken to the airport yeah you are taken maybe you are they do it because there are too many the, you are being taken maybe to a police station then after there that's when they will do your deportation 
then I'll just add for those girls like we we the one that we are staying with our bosses you just came and you are still there you have no problem and in uh, you have yeah you don't have any difficulties you are just okay in peace then yeah for you you are safe and ensure that because the, your boss is the one holding your passport and she or he is the one who is supposed to look an ikama for you so in case you don't have ikama tell him or her that it is now a must because whenever they found you with your boss outside there maybe you have gone out shopping enjoyment yeah in case they found you there you don't have a karma then your boss is the one to answer those question in case they have found you maybe you are going to throw the dustbin there outside then they found you they ask you for a karma you don't have then your boss is the one to answer the question so it's good to tell your boss to have the ikama that is like an id the permit for you to be here in saudi arabia so it's very important because that thing is very important in when you are going to shopping you you have to show that i have this it shows i have to move when you are sick that's the thing you are being asked in the hospital hospital it's like an an uh, h n h i f of kenya it's very important it's like the card they do pay you know it's expensive because they do pay each and every month so they fear to to process it for you but it's very important when you are sick that is the thing they need it caters for you everything everything about your health it's very important so urge advice your boss tell your boss that the ikama is very important i need an ikama and it will be of great help on your own it will be very helpful So guys that is the condition now in Saudi Arabia people are being arrested the Cambodians they are being taken back to their country and that is the situation right now both men and women they are being taken they found you with either passport you don't have any karma you are being deported back to your country So in case you you don't want to go back at home just stay in those continue working and we pray that we ha- you have the good health and yeah so that the need of that ikama should not be that too much on you to avoid some issues but you have to have that ikama because it's very very important so that is the case now in Saudi Arabia guys and we are so happy our girls should go and relax at home people have been passing through much yeah others yeah others are still crying but now when you run away you get the police you know your boss then you are free to go that is the situation as you see the videos there i have prepared for you a video and see how our kenyans are being taken to their country and in case you want more information just go to the news yeah the news four days ago yeah four days ago you will see other countries the philippines the pakistans yeah they are being taken back to their country so that is the case of here what is what is happening in saudi arabia uh, just watch the the video that i've prepared for you continue watching then just in case you have any question just leave there a comment ask any question and it will be of great help kai kwa nyumba watu mkai kwa nyumba mtu asijaribu kutoka nje watu wanashikwa huyu ndio huyu ni kwa gari na pelekwa sijui watu nini watu wenye mnasema
mwenye mnasema atushikwi unaona vile tunashikwa ukwe unaona kwenye tuko mnashikwa na ndege wanasema ndege iko tayari wanaume ndio hisi ya wanaume unaona vile tuko wengi huku wanawake semeni hai hai eh hey, mtanipeleka wapi unaona vile tumeshikwa So guys that is the situation now in Saudi Arabia that is what is happening people are being arrested you are being taken back to your country that is the situation yeah that is the situation so be careful be watchful walk with together with your phone be with your money because anytime yeah the police can be on you So be careful. Be watchful, take care and I know everything will be okay. Thank you so much for watching and may God bless you. I continue to pray for you each and every one. Continue to pray for us here in Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Qatar. Pray for everyone. And take care, be careful. Covid is real. Wear your mask, sanitize, stay away self distance so it will be good 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 so in please just subscribe like share and comment and may god bless you so much as we end our video of today thank you so much and be blessed